So this is a question about circle theorems. So we've got P, Q, R lie on the circle center O. So we've got P, Q, R, S lie on a center circle, circle with a center O. So this is the center. Angle P, Q, R, this angle here, P, Q, R is 64 degrees. And angle R, P, S, R, P, S is equal to 32 degrees. You need to remember these diagrams are never drawn to scale. Okay, so we've got angle O R P. The angle O R P is this angle here, this one. So you need to identify the angle that you need to find. Right, if you draw this in here, then you can calculate this angle here. So the angle R O P is 2 times 64, which is. The angle at the centre is also twice the angle at the circumference, so that's going to be 128. So what can we say about this triangle here? Well, if you consider triangle ROP, ROP, and I'll just draw that in in blue like that, then when ROP is isosceles because this length here and this length here are equal radii because this point here is the centre of the circle. We know that the angle ORP, well this one is 128, so we know that this angle and this angle are the same because it's an isosceles triangle. It's going to be 180 minus 128 divided by 2 because we know this angle here is 128. And then we divide it by 2, we're going to get 26 degrees. So this angle here is actually 26 degrees. In part B, we need to find angle SRP. SRP. So we need to find this angle here. So consider the cyclic quadrilateral. What do we mean by cyclic quadrilateral? That means all four vertices of the quadrilateral touch the edge of the circle. So that's that one there in red. Okay, so opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So angle PSR, this one here, is going to be 180 minus 64. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. And that gives me 116 degrees. Now, consider triangle PRS. PRS. Again, we're going to put that in blue. We know this is 116, so we can find that missing angle because we've got this one here because it's angles of the sum in the triangle. So angle SRP is 180 minus 116 minus 32, angle sum in a triangle, which also gives 32. Although it doesn't look like it on the drawing, this triangle here is also isosceles. This is 32 and this is 32, therefore this triangle must be isosceles, a little extra there, even though it doesn't look like it in the diagram. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use a circle theorems and calculate some angles in some circles. I hope you understand, and I thank you very much for watching.